Good afternoon. My name is David Brotherton, and I am the Program Director for Engineering, Technology, and Environment here at UC Berkeley Extension. I wanted to start by thanking everyone for taking uh, time out of your busy schedules to listen to um, this webcast and to learn more about our uh, programs here at Berkeley Extension. Today we're going to talk about the Certificate Program in Data Science and the Professional Program in Data Analysis. And before we get started, I wanted to uh, call your attention to the Q&A uh, box in the right hand side of your screen. If you have any questions that come up during the presentation, uh, please feel free to type those in there and um, we'll try to answer all those questions during the session. Um, and at the end of the session, we'll have a little bit of extra time to take uh, questions. If um, one comes up after the session and you wanted to reach out, we'll have uh, our contact email. Uh, will be on the last slide and then we'll also um, send links and provide this presentation in uh, after the um, session's over so you can review it at a later time. So for the agenda today we're going to first uh, just talk a little bit about UC Berkeley Extension, um, its history, mission, and the benefits of taking uh, courses with us. Uh, then we'll take a look at the career outlook um, data for um, the field of data analysis and data science. Uh, then we'll talk more in detail about the certificate programs themselves, covering all the goals, um, their cost, uh, curriculum requirements, and course options. And then finally, uh, we'll cover the various formats and locations where you can take uh, courses at Extension and talk about the benefits of the programs and the careers that the programs will uh, prepare you for. UC Berkeley Extension was founded by the University of uh, California, Berkeley, uh, way back in 1891. Uh, shortly after UC Berkeley itself was established. Uh, and this makes us the second oldest extension in the country, you know, second only to uh, Harvard Extension. Um, UC Berkeley Extension is the continuing education uh, and professional education division of uh, UC Berkeley. We provide more than 65 different professional and uh, certificate programs across a, a wide educational uh, array, everything ranging from art and design to writing and editing to math and, uh, and biotechnology. Each year, Berkeley Extension provides more than uh, 2,000 uh, individual classes, and we have close to uh, 40,000 enrollments uh, each year. And we have uh, several locations around the Bay Area where we hold classes. These, this includes Berkeley, San Francisco, and Belmont. Um, during the COVID disruptions, all of those cl classroom classes have shifted to a live uh, online format via Zoom. Um, I do uh, want to also emphasize that you do not have to enroll in one of our certificate programs or professional programs to take a course at Extension. We have many students who just enroll in individual courses uh, without registering for a full certificate program. Um, and while many students take courses to advance their educational you know, goals and, and to kind of seek that next step in their career, some students just want to take a class out of intellectual curiosity or for a personal enrichment. So we offer um, uh, a whole variety of classes to take for uh, whatever specific needs uh, uh, continuing education students need and we also offer many low-cost uh, public events so you can check out more information on our website as well. At UC Berkeley Extension we stress academic excellence um, as you would expect from any division of Berkeley. Uh, since we are a division of UC Berkeley um, itself our courses are approved by the relevant academic departments on campus. Our certificates have uh, academic advisory boards which include campus faculty and uh, many industry leaders. Um, for our programs in data science and data analysis, uh, we also have advisors uh, from companies such as uh, Google, Facebook, Netflix, LinkedIn, to, to Hortonworks and, and Oracle, um, as well as faculty advisors from UC Berkeley College of Engineering and the Haas uh, School of Business. Also, our instructors are campus approved. We select instructors with extensive industry experience. This helps to ensure that our courses cover the topics that are both relevant today and will be useful um, in your future career. And all courses taken um, for a letter grade must be passed with a grade of C or better to be applicable to our programs. The professional program in data analysis and the certificate in data science um, are designed to teach you how to collect and mine, analyze, uh, model, evaluate, and then visualize the data. Um, and prepare you for careers in data analysis and data science. Um, this is a relatively new job field, so jobs are not yet tracked uh, formally by 
uh, major government entities like the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Uh, but according to McKinsey Global Institute, in 2018, the U.S. faced a work shortage of more than 140,000 people with deep analytical skills. And 1.5 million managers um, you know, have to have the know-how how to analyze data and make effective business decisions. According to Harvard Business Review, the shortage has, uh, is becoming serious constraint on many sectors. Um, they've also declared this is kind of the sexiest job in the, in the 21st century. Uh, according to LinkedIn, the top skills that got people hired uh, were statistical analysis and data mining. We have two programs which I'm going to cover in this presentation, a certificate program in data science and a professional program in data analysis. And I'll start by covering the professional program in data analysis. Um, this program is designed to teach you how to master the key elements of data analysis, and this includes um, topics like extracting, analyzing data, uh, basic, basic statistical analyses, uh, data mining, uh, data visualization, and reporting. You'll also learn about key tools and languages, so um, you know, in Excel tables, charts, pivot tables, and languages, in R, like R, Python, SAS, and SQL. The, um, the overall cost of earning the certificate is around $2,900, although the exact figure will depend on the particular courses uh, that you choose to take. Uh, and this doesn't include the $100 certificate registration fee or the cost of the course materials. And you don't have to um, pay the $100 course registration fee initially. That can be something you can do later after you decide the program is right for you. Um, the cost of individual courses runs between $595 and $995, depending on the specific course you take and the number of semester units each course is. There are no formal requirements for the program. We do, however, recommend that you have college-level math skills, um, a basic understanding of statistics, and possess basic computer skills. If your math skills are a little rusty, we offer a math refresher course and a statistics course in our science and math uh, program area here at Extension. If you're new to uh, data analysis, you should begin with the course Introduction to Data Analysis. Um, for this course, you'll need um, decent spreadsheet skills as well as a, as kind of as like as a starting point. The certificate consists of six semester units, um, which is equivalent to 90 hours of instruction. And depending on the particular courses that you take, you'll need to complete either three or four courses to complete the entire certificate. Um, the program is offered in, um, typically it's offered in an online and classroom format. Um, although due to COVID-19, all classroom courses are being held in a live online format via Zoom. So um, right now the program uh, can be completed fully online either through our online uh, courses that start anytime um, and are self-paced or through uh, fixed date uh, live online classes uh, that are held via Zoom uh, with uh, kind of the face-to-face -face contact kind of, um, you know, um, it's intended to mirror the classroom setting as uh, closely as possible. Uh, the program is designed with flexibility in mind. Um, it provides a w wide array of options to allow you to tailor the program to meet your specific uh, professional goals. If you have questions about which courses to take, um, you should uh, call one of our dedicated advisors and they'll be able to, to guide you uh, through the course options that, that, that meet your needs the best. Uh, we have a rigorous curriculum, which is, provides a, a balanced mix of theory and practice. Uh, many students describe the coursework as being practical and, and very relevant to their jobs. There are a total of 12 courses available in three different topic areas um, that you can pick from. And the topic areas are uh, data analysis, SAS uh, analytic software, and data management. Um, the courses in these topic areas are listed um, over the next uh, three slides. Under the data analysis uh, umbrella, we offer courses such as Introduction to Data Analysis, which will give you an introduction uh, to data science using Advanced Excel and also introduces you to SQL and R. We also have Programming with R, which provides an introduction to the R programming language. Uh, this has become one of the primary languages for data manipulation and statistical analyses and data visualization. And you'll need to have prior programming experience in a high-level language for this class. We also have data analytics and visualization, which teaches you how to produce actionable reports and visualization 
visualizations using tools such as uh, Microsoft uh, Power BI and Google Analytics. Uh, we also have uh, practical statistics for data science using R, which provides a hands-on instruction to uh, statistics and data science using the R programming language. Finally, we have Python for data analysis and scientific computing, where you'll explore the Python data analysis libraries. Um, and also, um, uh, this class, you would need to have some prior py uh, Python knowledge as well. Um, and if you do not have prior program experience, I would recommend uh, that you take our uh, Python programming course uh, to start. The data analysis program also includes several courses on advanced analytics using SAS software suite, which is used in multiple industries. Uh, SAS is a set of software applications for statistical analysis, data mining, data manipulation, uh, data analysis, and data visualization. Under data management, we offer courses on relational databases, SQL, business intelligence, and data mining. And these courses include business intelligence with SQL Server, introduction to databases, introduction to SQL, and data mining using SQL. Uh, and to give you a better idea uh, about what's involved in taking a course, uh, I'd like to go into a bit more detail about one of our courses that's typically held in the classroom, Introduction to Database, um, but keep in mind during the COVID disruptions, uh, they'll be held live online via Zoom. Um, but either way, um, this is a two credit course and it meets one evening uh, a week between 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. and it runs for 10 uh, consecutive weeks. Uh, you'll be graded based on four different assignments and also on a midterm and final exam. The coursework covers all the basic topics on databases, including querying a database using SQL, uh, database design, as well as uh, physical storage and deployment issues. In addition to the professional program in data analysis that we just covered, we also uh, offer a more advanced uh, certificate program in data science designed to prepare students for mid to senior level uh, data analysis positions. This program will teach you how to master key elements of data science, including uh, defining the problem and objectives, uh, data collection and cleansing, uh, modeling and evaluation and deployment. The program will teach you foundational skills about data science, which include data mining, machine learning, uh, big data, uh, and visualization and reporting. And we'll also learn about key tools and languages such as Spark, uh, Hadoop, R, Python, and SQL. The cost of earning a certificate is around $5,100, although the exact figure will again depend on the particular courses that you choose to take. This course, uh, or sorry, this fee does not include the $100 uh, certificate registration fee or the cost of the course materials. And uh, again, the course registration fee is not something you need to pay before you start taking classes with us. That's, uh, you'll go ahead and pay that fee when you know the course, the program is right for you, then you can formally register in the program itself. And we'll talk about that a little later in the presentation. Uh, the cost of individual courses run between $845 and $1,395, depending on the sp specific course you're taking and the particular number of uh, semester units associated with each course. As with the professional program in data analysis, uh, students should have math uh, skills at a college level, uh, understanding of statistics, and possess you know, basic computer skills. You should, in addition, be able to program at least one high-level uh, programming language. If you do not know how to program, we offer a number of beginning uh, programming courses. Since several courses in the sequence use Python language, I would recommend either taking uh, Introduction to Computers and Programming or Python Programming, um, both of which would introduce you to Python programming language. Uh, JavaScript is also an option. A few courses may have additional requirements such as knowledge of calculus, although this is not required necessarily to complete the certificate, just for specific courses that you might have an interest in. The certificate consists of 10 semester units, which is equivalent to 150 hours of instruction. You'll need to complete a total of five courses to complete the certificate. You may take one programming course, one machine learning course, uh, one core course, and then you can take up to four units of electives. The program includes both online and uh, classroom courses, and it is um, not possible to complete the program completely online typically, but because of the COVID disruptions, uh, uh, all of our classroom classes will be held live online uh, for, the, uh, for the fall term and likely the upcoming spring term. So um, this program is still possible to complete fully online 
um, at least during the COVID-related disruptions. There are 13 uh, total courses available in the certificate. There are 11 core courses and two electives. You must take um, at least one course from the programming, machine learning, and core categories. Under the programming category, we offer Introduction to Data Science, Programming with R, and Python for Data Analysis. Under the Machine Learning category, we offer uh, Machine Learning with TensorFlow, which teaches you how to use TensorFlow package when dealing with uh, heavy financial, mathematical, um, engineering, or scientific problems. We also offer machine learning courses using both Python and R, and mach machine learning courses with uh, Deep Learning with Spark. Under the core courses category, we offer data science principles and practice. This provides a hands-on introduction to the practice of data science using either R or Python programming languages. You complete the uh, process of a typical you know, data science project. This would include you know, defining project goals, collecting and preparing and managing data, building models, evaluating those models, uh, looking, looking at the results, uh, presenting results using effective data visualization techniques, and deploying models uh, to a production environment. We also offer uh, practical statistics for data scientists using R and introduction to big data. And in that class, you'll get an introduction to working with very large or complex data sets that cannot adequately be stored, processed, or analyzed using uh, traditional database uh, technologies. You'll also learn how to design and use uh, big data system, which can scale and uh, handle complexity. And um, we recently added a course on data visualization as well. So you can select up to two courses from the elective categories. Uh, these include um, introduction to databases and introduction to SQL. While we have multiple locations around the Bay Area for our classroom courses, um, these are typically in uh, downtown Berkeley, San Francisco, near the Embarcadero BART on Spear Street or in Belmont. Uh, during the COVID-related disruptions, all of those classes are going to be shifted to the live online format via Zoom. So all fall to, uh, 2020 courses, and we're anticipating spring 2021 classes uh, will be held in this format as well. We're still um, uh, awaiting official um, uh, information from the university. But the live online classes will uh, still meet on a scheduled format, and um, uh, they're typically held, if we run them on weekends, Saturday courses can run over five Saturdays with each session at uh, 30 hours, or excuse me, six hours in, 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 in length. Uh, we also have weeknight, course, weeknight courses that run one evening uh, per week for typically eight to 10 weeks. And um, those typically run between six to 9 p.m. or 6.30 to 9 p.m. Our traditional online courses in the program have a continuous enrollment format. Um, in an online continuous enrollment course, you can enroll at any time and proceed at your own pace. You'll have six months to complete the coursework. And um, again, all the courses are 100% online. You submit your work electronically. Uh, the course materials are always available online. Um, and unlike many uh, online uh, course offerings, all of our courses are have a um, uh, instructor, a lead instructor that, that, that administers the course. And that means if you have any questions or need extra help, you'll have a, a highly qualified instructor there to assist you. So who will benefit from taking one of these programs? Um, both programs are designed for individuals transitioning into a new career, uh, general managers looking to improve their overall uh, data analysis skills, and professionals who need flexible course options to tailor a program that meets their specific uh, career goals. The professional program in data analysis is designed for entry to mid-level um, data analysis professionals who are seeking to upgrade their skills um, and to qualify for uh, increased responsibilities in their, in their current roles. Uh, the certificate in data science is uh, more designed for mid to senior level uh, data analysis professionals looking to upgrade their skills uh, and, and, the, and the quality of their, of their work to get increased responsibilities. Um, it's also, um, it's for data scientists who are looking to round out their skills if there's additional areas which you're uh, needing uh, additional um, expertise. The professionals who benefit from um, the programs include uh, data analysts, business analysts, uh, HR, marketing, uh, operations uh, analysts and specialists, 
um, people who are you know, research analysts specifically, data scientists, risk managers, and um, recent graduates from our program have worked in um, related roles in a host of different co uh, companies uh, around the Bay Area, including Apple, Audible, Bloomberg, eBay, Google, Intel, Oracle, uh, Wells Fargo, you know, just to name a few. So to earn the certificate, you'll need to register for the program and pay the $100, $150 registration fee. We recommend you do this uh, before you complete your second course. This um, is uh, kind of protects you in case we make any changes to the program's curricula. If you're already registered for the program, you can choose to complete the original program or potentially you can switch to the updated program. Uh, you'll need to complete all the required coursework with at least a grade of C or better and you'll have a total of three years uh, to complete the program. Um, and finally, you'll need to notify the department after you receive your grade in your final course and you can request your uh, award of completion. Uh, finally, I wanted to cover a few of the uh, frequently asked questions that we, we get for our courses and, and our programs. Um, and the first question I'd like to address is, uh, can I transfer credit from a, another college or university? And the answer to that is yes, you can transfer up to 25% of the total coursework um, in the certificate program in data science. However, we will need to evaluate the coursework and accept it as a uh, suitable substitution uh, for the course, for the specific course within the curriculum. So the course you take has to be sufficiently similar to one of the courses that we um, already offer and it must be taken from an accredited institution and supply a, a transcript and you'll need to have obtained a grade of B or better and the class must have been taken within the last um, five years. Another uh, frequently asked question is, um, uh, do you see Berkeley Extension academic uh, credits, are they transferable to other uh, institutions? So typically the answer is yes. However, every institution has its own policies. So we strongly recommend that you check with your home institution first to ensure that the credits you earn with UC Berkeley extension will be transferable. Um, if you're seeking to take uh, a, a, maybe a master's program, you would then um, need to uh, contact any and all of the programs that you're interested in to see if uh, credits taken from our, our program and classes will be applicable as well. Another question um, that we commonly get is, can I take the courses in any order? Um, and this is a qualified yes. There, there are several courses that can be taken as a starting point, but some of the courses do have recommendations or prerequisite course courses or skills. So check with one of our advisors if you need uh, clarification on any specific course. Another common question uh, that we get is, um, if I've been out of the classroom for 10 or more years, uh, what would I expect by coming back and taking classes? So this is a, a good question, and um, it's, it's one that, considering the average age for our students across extension as a whole is um, kind of in the, the low 30 um, uh, years of age, so uh, 32, 33. So it's not uncommon for individuals to have taken long breaks formally from uh, academic classwork. And it must, and it's important to note that the programs and courses at Berkeley Extension are designed for working professionals and the flavor of our classes will be, you know, much more um, practical um, skills based. Um, they're still theoretical in nature, but you'll, you'll feel that they'll have a different flavor than your typical undergraduate uh, courses. And also since a lot of your classmates will be in a, in a similar position, not having you know, taken formal classes uh, for some time, it's, um, I wouldn't by any means feel intimidated by, uh, by, that, by that factor if you hadn't been in the, in the classroom recently. Um, pertaining to the question, can um, someone complete the program fully online? Um, yes, our program, professional program in data analysis can be um, completed exclusively online. Um, even absent any uh, COVID-related um, classes that are typically in the classroom that are shifted to an online format. Um, for the certificate program in data science, um, in the short term, there's a, a, a variety of continuous enrollment online classes that are always available, and any of our classroom classes um, 
in the short term can also be um, completed uh, fully online with our live online format via Zoom. So the short answer is, uh, for that program is in, the, is in the near term, yes, and we're exploring the option of continuing to host those live online classes into the future. So um, there is that option potentially that in the long term, the pro uh, both programs will be available fully online. And to the question of when will I learn about um, when, when new courses are going to uh, come available in future terms. So um, you can typically start enrolling in spring courses, for example, in October, um, summer courses in March, and fall courses are open for enrollment, uh, typically starting in July. And you can, again, enroll in our continuous enrollment courses at any time. I hope we provided you with good information about the Certificate Program in Data Science and the Professional Program in Data Analysis and answered all your questions. If you need more information, please check out our website at extension.berkeley.edu. You can also reach out to us uh, via email um, and you will be receiving a copy of this presentation so you'll have access uh, to all the information um, uh, after the session. Uh, I would also want to thank you all for attending and I hope to see some of you soon in our upcoming uh, courses in the future. And we'll be remaining online to answer your questions, so please continue to send them in the Q&A box in the right-hand corner of the screen.